Today we're visiting Windstar World Casino and Resort, the world's biggest casino located on the Texas-Oklahoma border. With a floor area of 55 there were 750 square meters, it's the largest casino on earth. Walking from one end to the other is nearly a full kilometer. We'll use science to beat this casino, just like 4,000 physicists did in Las Vegas in 1986. Come with me. Why casinos always win? It's mathematically impossible to beat the house with certainty. Every game is designed to give the house an advantage, even if slight. Imagine a coin flip where heads lands 51% of the time. Over time, heads will appear more frequently and you will lose. The only strategy to beat a casino is to walk away the moment you're ahead. Keep playing, and you'll eventually lose as that tiny disadvantage compounds. This idea that tiny probabilities build up over many trials is called the law of large numbers. It applies not just to one person's luck, but to the thousands inside the casino. Some will win, but because games favor the house, total losses will always exceed total wins. If 10,000 people spend $1,000 each, a 2% house edge yields $200,000 profit for the casino today. Winners brag, losers stay silent. This silence acts as free advertisement, drawing more people in. About 1% of them will develop a gambling addiction that destroys their lives. The psychological trap of casinos. This system is no joke. Despite their glamour, casinos are predators, engineered to keep you inside and losing. Casinos do everything to make you stay. Ever notice they lack windows or clocks? These sealed boxes make you lose track of time. Casinos, like Windstar, are labyrinths disorienting you. While confused you, even if no one's winning, the sounds distract you, making it feel like money is constantly being won. Most casinos offer free drinks and food, making you feel like you're getting something back. But you're not. The house advantage is usually around 5%, not 30-40%. That small edge ensures games make you almost win, creating a false feeling that games offer simple choices, like betting on roulette or hitting in blackjack, creating an illusion of control. You use chips, not real money. Chips don't feel like cash, so spending them doesn't hurt, leading to more losses. These are deliberate psychological tactics. Don't fall for them. Today, we fight back. Roulette Unite, the game of illusions. We need to play specific games with specific moves. You've probably heard of card counting from movies like Casino Royale or 21. But casinos aren't stupid. They use four to eight decks at once to thwart card counters. Machines shuffle cards perfectly and cut cards are placed deep, making counting nearly impossible. Every move is monitored. Card counting isn't illegal, but casinos can ban you for it. They can't legally beat you up, but good luck complaining if they do. Today we're playing roulette. It's simple. Pure luck. There are 36 numbers, 18 red, 18 black. You place chips on numbers or groups. The wheel spins, the ball drops, and where it lands determines winners and losers. Notice the green zeros on the roulette wheel and table. These zeros bend the odds in the casino's favor. You don't have to bet on just one number. Place your chip between 11 and 14 and you win if either lands. Bet on the intersection of four numbers or on a column and you win if any of those numbers appear. You can also bet on 1 to 12, 13, 24, 25, 36, red, black, odd, even 1 to 18 or 19, 36. Where the house edge actually comes from. These combinations offer different payouts due to varying probabilities. If there were only 36 numbers, a single number bet would be 1 in 36 paying 36 to 1. Bet 1 unit, win 36, net profit 35. But there are two zeros, making 38 slots. The real probability is 1 in 38, 5.6% worse than you think. Yet, the casino still pays only 36 to 1, even if you bet on green and win. That tiny 5% difference gives the house the edge. The zeros aren't red, black, odd, or even tilting every betting option toward the casino. So the house wins long term, but you might get lucky short term. The Martingale Strategy. The biggest trap. The Martingale Strategy is a popular but flawed way to beat roulette. The logic is simple. Bet on red or black, a near 50-50 chance. Pick one color and stick with it. If you lose, double your next bet. Start with $1 on red. If red hits, you win $1 profit. If black or green hits, double to $2. If red hits now, you win $4 total. Your profit is still $1. Lose again, double to $4, then $8, then $16. If red appears, you win $32, but your profit is still $1. Martingale guarantees profit if you eventually win, but it has two massive problems. Doubling grows exponentially. 
1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 198, 256. After a few losses, you're risking huge amounts. I once saw 23 black results in a row in Vegas. It happens. Casinos have maximum bet limits, often around $5,000. When you need to place an $8,192 bet, you can't. Everything collapses and you lose all $8,091 instantly. The gambler's fallacy. Casinos know your strategies. Your own psychology will defeat you first. Another trap is the gambler's fallacy. Believing if black comes up 10 times, red must be next. No, each spin is independent. The next spin still has only about a 47% chance of landing on red due to the zeros. Yet, people bet everything, thinking, you might argue, in the long run, results move toward the average, but you don't know when, and that uncertainty destroys you. The only real winning strategy. That's why the casino always wins. Even if you win, someone else loses more, and the casino profits. How did 4,000 physicists give Las Vegas one of its worst financial weeks? Simple. They didn't play. Casinos offer cheaper free hotel rooms to keep players gambling longer. In 1986, the American Physical Society met at the MGM Grand. 4,000 physicists filled the rooms, and casinos expected huge profits. But physicists understand probability and house edge. Most were broke, so they stayed in the cheap rooms. And almost none gambled. It was one of Las Vegas's worst financial weeks. To scientifically beat the casino, remember the only proven winning strategy. The best way to win in gambling is not to play. We've reached the end of another video, friends. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. We'll learn a lot from the videos I share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my new videos. See you in the next video.